guys, welcome back to some more F1 2016 and part 5 of Season 2 of our McLaren Return to Glory career mode and today we have the Spanish Grand Prix. These are the championship standings as we look at them. We're leading the championship by 10 points uh, ahead of Max Verstappen uh, and Nico Rosberg and our teammate Fernando Alonso in the Constructors. McLaren are leading the way so the return to glory could be complete this season. We've got an engine upgrade uh, happening as we go into the Spanish Grand Prix weekend. Um, it's not one of my strongest tracks but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to play second fiddle to Alonso at his home Grand Prix. Um, I'm assuming he's going to be beastly around this circuit, but uh, we'll just have to see. We'll, we will just have to see. Um, we'll see if any other teams have upgraded as well um, and see um, whereabouts they are on the performance uh, thing. So here's Chris. Okay, engineer. I've got something for you. The new parts have been fitted to the car. The simulation numbers are good, so look forward to your feedback. Check out the details. There we go. He's, he's pretty happy with how the the upgrade has gone. Uh, I've got another eight horsepower, which is really good. Um, I tell you what, McLaren would love that in real life, wouldn't they? Uh, it looks like just our team has, has done anything with the, the research and development. And it means we take that extra stride ahead of Red Bull, um, and yeah, we 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 should be looking to to be the ones to beat this weekend. Um, how did we do here last year? We finished in tenth, so we got a point at the Spanish Grand Prix last year. We're looking to improve on that before we went on our little podium streak. We had three podiums in four races and. Uh, we obviously won in Austria. Uh, I can't remember that to be honest. But we finished second in Monaco and second in Canada as well. We're looking to improve on them results. So looking at this year, uh, it's been a lot better. First, fourth, eighth, and then first. So yeah, hopefully looking uh, to get another podium at least and maybe even win the Grand Prix. But I'll hand over to David Croft now, who'll take you through the grid and a little preview for the Spanish Grand Prix. Good afternoon from a very familiar setting. It's race day here in Spain, and with everything still to play for in the championship battle, there's no room for mistakes in a Grand Prix that's well known for creating them. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 metre sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high-speed excitement to be found, including the flat-out Turn 3 and the terrifying blind right of Turn 9. I won't be commentating alone today, of course. Nope, I have the honour to share this commentary box with none other than Anthony Davidson. And you and I were talking earlier today about how tight that midfield battle is compared to the last couple of years. Why do you think that is? Well, I suppose the main reason is simply stability in the regulations. Look at what we had towards the end of the V8 era. In 2012, we had seven winners in seven races. And we talk about the dominance of Red Bull at that time, but their advantage was rarely more than two or three tenths of a second. And we've had this current formula now for a couple of years, and that serves to solve any teething troubles with reliability. And let's not forget that these cars are more technical than ever before, so it was always going to take a bit of time for those gaps to come down. Okay, the run into turn one isn't too long, so the pack will be bunched up. Take care. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. What a qualifying from Fernando Alonso. He starts from pole position, and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo, a strong showing from the Australian. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Rosberg, and McLaren, and Raikkonen, Vettel, Grosjean, Bottas, and Felipe Massa, Kvyat, Hamilton, Carlos Sainz, and Gutierrez, Harry Anto, Holkenberg, Jolien Palmer, and Pascal Wehrlein. P3 
Perez and Magnussen. Marcus Ericsson and Felipe Nasser starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Right guys, here we are in fifth position. Yeah, we probably had enough pace to be on pole, but I never hooked it up in Q3 really. We were fastest in Q2 with a 121.1, uh, which was about the same time as Fernando did in Q3. Um, this is the race strategy. Apparently just a one-stop. That's absolutely fine uh, for me. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much else to tell you, so let's just get into the race. I've hopefully adjusted uh, the sound well enough um, on the Elgato because I forgot to do that in uh, the, the last episode which is why you couldn't really hear my voice over the, uh, the game volume when you actually record within the Elgato it sort of reduces the game volume so you can hear me anyway but uh, obviously I'm using OBS now so that doesn't happen so I've just reduced the, the volume of the Elgato so hopefully you'll be able to hear me so yeah hopefully you guys are good uh, we're leading the championship by 10 points, I'm going to say, but uh, I might be wrong on that. But uh, certainly Fernando could make up a lot of uh, ground today on us. Uh, Nico Rosberg is just ahead of us, our rival as well. If we beat him today, we could potentially beat him in the rivalry, but it might not be uh, the case. Um, yeah. We'll just have to see how things go. Um, this isn't my favourite track. Uh, I think it's a pretty good track, but I'm just not very good around it. Uh, we'll go into a bit of a spell of, of tracks I'm not very good at this, and then Monaco, but then we come back with Canada and Austria, but then Britain I'm not great around. So, yeah, this could be a bit of a dry patch, this little spell of, of podiums and victories, um, especially if Nico Rosberg does that around every corner. Break testing us. You know, I'm just running Mercedes blood. Getting involved in that argument, it was a racing incident, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Vettel was a little bit naughty doing a little argy bargy after, but it's good for forming. I want to have just a little bit of bite there. Anyway, I've waffled on enough. Down to the race start now, and hopefully we can have a good one. Uh, it's a long run up the turn one, so if we have a bad start, we'll be feeling those effects um, all the way down to turn one and, and, and through the first sector. We've got Ferraris and Lewis Hamilton breathing down our necks because Hamilton is in 10th, I think. Or is he? I don't know. I don't know where Hamilton is. I think Hamilton went out in Q2, actually. Maybe. I'm not sure. He, he must have because he's nowhere to be seen there. I think he's behind Massa, so it looks like 12th for Lewis Hamilton. I really didn't notice that in qualifying. That's a, a big, big shock. Especially since Rosberg is right next to us on the grid. But here we go, ready for the lights. Lights out, away we go. Very quick release and not a good start for us. Sebastian Vettelhoff to a good start alongside us. He moves ahead and now he's having a look at Nico Rosberg into turn one. We're just going to take it nice and easy. Somebody went into the back of us. I don't know who. It might have been Raikkonen uh, who lost a bit of his front wing. I'm really not sure. But an exciting start through the first couple of corners. And it looks like Fernando has managed to to um, negotiate the first few turns in the lead. So Fernando Alonso leads the Spanish Grand Prix. Max Verstappen has jumped his teammate Daniel Ricciardo into second. Daniel Ricciardo is in third with Kimi Raikkonen in fourth. It was Vettel that was behind us. Raikkonen got off to a really, really good start. He was behind us on the grid, remember. Uh, and Nico Rosberg has dropped to fifth. We dropped to sixth with Sebastian Vettel on the medium tyres in seventh. Uh, and I don't really know below that. It looks like Rojan has got up to 8th. So Hamilton's still not off um, to the best of starts. So he's not into the points yet. By the looks of things. Uh, although I may have just seen him in mirrors that he was behind Rojan. So I think Hamilton is up to ninth. Yes he is. And it looks like two Williams follow him. So let's just concentrate on our race now. We've got a, uh, another Mercedes to worry about. Nico Rosberg. Uh, we're expected to finish 4th in this Grand Prix, which I think is quite achievable. Um, we should be able to settle into the race, I'll just settle into the, the gaming chair now and, and get comfortable because we're closing in on Nico Rosberg's straight line speed 
you would never see McLaren do this in real life. There was an incident. Alonso's down the third. Oh, Rosberg's hit us. Rosberg has hit us. We're out. We're out. I don't know what happened there. We are out of the Spanish Grand Prix. I can't believe this. Went down the inside of Rosberg. He, I feel like we turned in on him, maybe. Looking in now, Rosberg went a little wide. We, his front wing tagged us, and then we just got collected. We just got collected. I don't know by who. But what happened up front? Because that was kind of distra distracting, to be quite honest with you. Um, it looks like the Red Bulls trying to... What, what went on here? It looks like Ricardo trying to go down the inside of the Staten. Oh, they, they managed to get through by the looks of things. Because it said Sainz was out the race, so let's watch from Fernando's point of view. He's just got two Red Bulls going down his inside. Alonso stays out of it on the, on the outside. Very smart of him. Raikkonen's just watching the action and then there's all of the drama behind. Um, it looks like it was Hamilton that maybe went into us, so let's keep an eye on Lewis Hamilton coming into this turn. He's having a look at Roman Grosjean, sort of has a look to the inside, but then stays rock solid behind him. Nico Rosberg collects us and then, well, it was Grosjean. It was Grosjean ahead. That hit us, so let's keep an eye on Roman Grosjean. Did he get any, any damage? Yeah, we, we were just collected, unfortunately. And that's us out of the race, the Spanish Grand Prix. Um, there's not much more we can do about that. Let's keep an eye on... Well, where's Carlos Sainz? I assume... Uh, is this him? just an engine failure if I looked at that then. That would have been a safety car. So that's the end of our race and <laughs> very, very sorry but that is going to be the end of this uh, episode. Um, not much I can do about that. That is uh, not good at all. But we're out of the Spanish Grand Prix. We finished 10th here last year. But it looks like so, Fernando has gone on to win the Spanish today. Grand Prix for us, uh, very well done wonder, Fernando, probably deserved to win it, you know, he, uh, he's had a very very good weekend, uh, it looks like the Red Bulls finished behind him, so he must have overtook them again be interesting to know who finished fourth, it was right in at the time whether he could stay there Danny Kvyat finished a brilliant seventh for Red Bull, well done for him um, Look at that. They're making their there's Fernando the looking very now. very happy with Great himself winning at home in the Spanish really Grand Prix you couldn't make it up Max Verstappen finished podium. second and Daniel Ricciardo in third I think that's the order um, I might be wrong yeah Max Verstappen second Daniel Ricciardo in third Fernando Alonso very very happy to win that Grand Prix and well that'll take them up in the championship We've lost out a bit because of that retirement. And after this round of the World Championship, here's Let's how things look, look in the drivers' table. Max Verstappen, Max Verstappen takes leads. The lead wow. The drivers championship after that excellent result. Moving on to the driver of the day. Who's he going to go Anthony for? Davidson. Who would you go for? Oh, well, it's got to be Lewis, Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton. Well, he, he, he did get up from 12th all the way up to 4th on driver. the grid. Kimi Raikkonen finished in 5th with Nico Rosberg finishing in 6th. And then Danny Kvyat, Sebastian Vettel, uh, Felipe Massa and Esteban Gutierrez um, actually finishing in the points. So, the outside, it was just Carlos Sainz and myself. And there's the chance. Championship. It's not good reading for us. We've now dropped to third in the championship. Eight points behind Max Verstappen. Fernando Alonso only a point behind in the championship. And then Nico Rosberg in fourth. Hamilton fifth. And Daniel Ricciardo in sixth. Six drivers within a race win of the championship. I think this is going to be an exciting one. Constructors wise, McLaren is still on top. Only just because Red Bull had a pretty good points haul there. So let's just see what's going on. Um, yeah, we've had a bad weekend, 
couldn't really hook it up and qualifying and, and going out on lap two in the race. Um, that's not what we want, is it? Uh, what about the rivalry? I don't think we'll have won any of this, will we? No. So Nico Rosberg catching us up. But a good qualifying session or two may help us there. We're still uh, pre in pretty good standing with the team, so I don't think there's anything to worry about there. Can we make any upgrades before we go? Doesn't look like it. Um, so we'll just have to leave that for now. But Monaco is the next one. And if anyway, you're quite likely to uh, not finish its Monaco. So, yeah. If you've enjoyed that, please leave a like down below. It really means a lot for me and the channel. I'm sorry it was a bit of a shorter episode. Um, I'll try and finish the next race. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.